to go to the spot we're having my venue with the baby shower we're fashionably late because we're the parents of course but i gotta put my lipstick on here's what i look like i feel like we did so many trips to love your baby it's baby shower day yay i'm here with Vivian. We are so excited. Vivian and Toby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Thank you, Mar. Oh, thank this you for everything. Uh, this, this is my is dress. So oh, this is like <laughs> the bump, literally. Just, yeah. You can go like this. Oh. You can see. What a class act. I have some heels, but we're not going to put those on yet because. My feet are gonna hurt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the dress. Looks fabulous. Uh, featuring Mason. Baby Mace. Yes. The man of the album. Yes. yes. He's so popular. <laughs> we are excited to celebrate Thank you. you. Right. I was ready. It was him. Well, you look beautiful. Thank you. baby shower day and what about it and what about it and what about it <laughs> <Cry me. laughs> you hold this real quick it's still recording brother is dropping stuff um sir all right let's get in this is so cute we've been waiting long enough i know but they told me to wait you know how funny it is because i left at 1 30 from our house and i was thinking you yeah. were going to be here i know like where's gregory where's gregory <laughs> Mason is going to be the 
the best. He's gonna be athletic, and I'm so like other than that, he's gonna be a baby genius. He's gonna yes. be a star. Yes. He's gonna be beyond your wildest dreams. So, yes. Yes. I love both of you. I'm so grateful, and we cannot wait for baby Mason. <laughs> This is my sister right here. Hey. This is my big sister. So yes. growing up with her has been a handful already. Yeah. So, oh, I get it. Yeah. Has a lot to manage, but they're gonna manage each other. They're gonna have a baby, and it's gonna be great. Oh my God. Like, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. I love you, Morgan. One thing I've known Morgan since I was six. She. She protected me from a bully. Oh, wow. As surprising that, as that is. Yeah. So that goes to say, I view her as my big sister. Yeah. I wish her the best. Yes. He's my big brother. I wish him the best. Yes. And baby Mason is going to be quiet. He's going to be spoiled. He's going to be big. y'all matched energy because she is crazy too and I love it. We've been partying for years together, just praying together, growing together, like um, on behalf of our family because the pop isn't here and our grandma isn't here but we know that they're shining down on us, they're watching over us. Baby Mason is our first little bundle of joy in a long time so we are so excited to spoil him and just thank you for the new family that we got. Liv is lit. associate with this man is selflessness. Yeah. The things that he's able to do for others without any regard for a reward or some type of like, I need your help. Like this man does so much for so many other people and is never really praised for it. And he's never looking for the praise, right? And so That's in this moment, man. knowing that he has Morgan by his side, baby Mason on the way, um, I want to commend you as a dad and what you're be, going to be able to do for your son, mm -hmm. what you're going to be able to teach him. You're a very intelligent man. And just being able to kind of like, you know, reach back to him and let and pour into him. 
how selfless you've been able to be for your family, for your siblings, and for your mother, and for your, your, your whole entire family. So we appreciate you. We love you. You're my brother. You know what I'm saying? And I want to see you win. So. This has been my brother since college. Since he was 18 years old. 18 years old. And it's been just such a beautiful thing to watch into the man that you become. Real talk, you've held it down for yourself, for your family, for your friends. And I really cannot express enough how proud I am of you. I know you're going to be a great father. You're going to be a great man to, to your lovely lady here. And then Mason is just, he's going to be that dude. <laughs> you know, he's going to be that dude. I hear it. So, uh, yo, brother, man, I just appreciate you as a friend. Honestly, I mean, you've touched my life. You know, I'll touch your life. And uh, may the years continue. May the blessings continue. Amen. Amen. And uh, I don't know, we pretty much hang out every time. Yeah. And um, I've known him for like eight, nine years. And um, one thing I've learned about him is that he's he's an inspiration to me. I'm, I'm older than him, like two, three years. But he, like, I haven't met, I only have like few people that like actually inspire me to like be bigger than what I think I am. And like every time I hang out with him and you know, we have dreams, we just, we banter and whatever, but like he just, he tells me about like important stuff in life that I need to like focus on. And I usually don't get that from other people. Um, I can count the amount of people that can do that to me uh, on my hand, and he's one of those. And so I just want to wish you the best. You know? I, I think, I think you're think you going to hack this. And hack yes, you, yes, you're going to hack this. And <laughs> you're going to inspire me too. Oh, sure. Congratulations again. And yeah, I know, I know you're going to be great dad. Okay? So, I mean, I think it's very obvious this man is very loved, and so is Morgan. And uh, I think the, the combination is fantastic. I'm, I'm so excited to see this man become a father. Like, <laughs> I mean, wow. the fact that when I, when I met this guy, Relax, I relax. Just, I just, let I just him saw, speak, let him speak. I just saw the the greatness great. that that this man really has within him, and I'm so excited to think about what he's going to pour into this child, what he's going to pour into the family that you are making together. And I, I love you, bro. You're my brother, and I can't wait to yeah. to see what you create, bro. Yes, sir. Hey, so, are you you recording? Yes, okay. I'm recording. I'm definitely recording. Yes. Yes. Please, please, um, please. We are so excited for Morgan. Um, She's stupid, bro. Right? I'm gonna let her best friend talk first, and the god mom will talk last. <laughs> Listen, Morgan is the love of my life. <laughs> if I was lesbian, oh no. My God. Morgan is, listen, no, Morgan is patient, she's kind, she's beautiful, sure, can we, can we, amazing. Can we, hey, hey, can we let, can we let, can we let Morgan get her flowers? Yes. We're just, we're, we're speaking, Absolutely. can we let Morgan? I'm just going to say Morgan is patient, she's kind, she's amazing, I love her to death. From the first moment I met her, I knew we could be friends because she was just so kind, you know, like, it's really unheard of sometimes. I feel like these days people are uh, busy in a rush, they're moving, you know, but Morgan had the time, you know, and to cultivate a friendship with me. Yeah. And sometimes it's really hard to cultivate a friendship when you've gotten to such a big age, you know? She's very and personal. I feel like that is something that's going to, you know, transpire to her relationship with baby Mason. Just the patience and the kindness Mason. and the love, you know, for the baby. And I'm just very excited. We talked the other day. <laughs> we talked the other day of the basically like kind of like the level in which she's changing. Like, you know, she's no longer just a friend. She's going to be a mom and she's, you know, and I, I just love that for her that she's moving on in her journey of life you know what i mean she's like embracing her mommyhood and her baby and i'm just so very excited i know that 
Raphael will be an amazing father, and I'm super together. excited for you guys to do it together. Sure. I wouldn't have picked anyone else to do it with her, so I'm so excited. Oh. I love her so much. And I just want to just say, y'all, I've known Morgan since high school. Yes. Um, we go Please back. Give her flowers. Junior year in high school, and she was one of my first friends I met at Decatur High School. So I was new to the high school; I didn't have like any friends. And Morgan and I just clicked like that. We got our first, we got matching tattoos. <laughs> we, actually, we actually do on our ankles. So she has one on her left side. I have one on my right side. It's the same. It's the same tattoo. So, so you know it's real when you get matching tattoos with a girl, right? And so. Um, Morgan is just very patient. She's loving. She will do anything. She'll do anything, really, honestly. Um, and I'm just glad that Ralphie, I'm glad that you and Morgan match. You guys really match together. Um, I'm just excited so I can do that. Do anything that y'all need. Like, if you need to go out, y'all need to, you know, turn up, whatever. <laughs> like, say, hey, like, hey, we need you to watch Mason. I got you. Like, I'll be here. So. I'm just so excited for the journey. You're going to be wonderful. You take your time. Like, you're going to get through this, both of you guys. So I'm, I'm happy for you. Thank you. Woo! So I met uh, Morgan in 2016. And it was funny because I used to see her at the gym. And I was like, she's so cute. She reminds me of a younger me. <laughs> Little did I know, I interviewed at a school um, where she worked. And um, from there, I think the first time we talked and we met, it was just like, oh my gosh, she's the sister I never had. So I love Morgan with all my heart. With all my heart, I'm very protective of her. Um, very protective of her. First time we met. <laughs> but it's, it's all it's all love. I know. It's I just love her like she is truly my sister and definitely a friend sister. So I know you're gonna be an amazing mom. She's beyond patient. We're both kindergarten teachers, and I'm the one that's impatient, and she's like super calm, super patient. So I'm just happy for you. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this new chapter in your life. I feel like it's grown and blossomed before my eyes. Ralph and um, Morgan, I wish you guys the best. Peace, love, and blessings. I'm not going to be like Pops. Yeah. I'm Charlotte, uh, every DR, because I could do that. But I love you. I love you both. And... Blessings. Thank you very much. Yes. So, a lot of y'all know this is my dog, man. Like, this is like a brother from another mother. Like, this goes way back, and we know it goes way back. Like, way back. <laughs> yeah, like, way back. Like, you're talking from, like, little kids, all that stuff. And, you know, just to see, like, the maturation of ourselves from things that we used to do till now is just, like, crazy. And to see, like, how, you know, you meet someone like Morgan, and it's, like, a beautiful, like, just relationship. And so I'm happy for him. I'll always be after I'll always be praying for y'all, bro. I always pray for baby Mason. And you know, anytime you need me, I'm always gonna be there, man. I'm always gonna be there for both of y'all. So y'all always make sure y'all know that. And every time I love you, bro, love you too, Morgan. And I can't wait to see baby Mason. Yeah. There are special, beautiful, amazing people here hmm. to support all of us. Well, us. Yes. And I really appreciate that. Um, Thank you guys. Thank you. Yes. Guys, so, so out of breath. I'm in Mason's room. Let me show you what we have going on. Y'all, it is two weeks before I'm due. And I have a lot to do in his room. Okay, so. Look at this. <laughs> I'm coming in. This is his room. And we just have stuff everywhere. So, I don't know, my dead cat came off of my camera. Put this on real quick. So, yeah, so I need to get started. Um, but I'm gonna get these cute little dividers for his closet. 
for his clothes. Isn't this cute? Yeah. So yeah, so I did show you guys like a little bit of the baby shower. We had music, a lot of music playing, so I didn't want to get like copyright or anything. But yeah, it was really, really nice. Here's Mason's bear. Um, so yeah. It was really nice. So I don't even know where to start, y'all. In this room. I did wash all his clothes, so that's done with. I just have to fold them. But uh, the crib needs to be built. The dresser. I have the chair. We got this Nuna. I'm gonna show you some of the things that we got. So I got this Nuna stroller. I mean not stroller, car seat. Still gonna get the stroller. So we got that one. We got a Duna. Thank you, Vivian, for the car seat. Vivian is Vivian is Ralph's sister. So yes, yeah, so we got that. Um, which doesn't really need to be up here. So I'm gonna put it in the hallway. Because it needs to go in the car. I think I'm gonna put my car seat. Not car seat. I think I'm gonna put. You can't see me. I think I'm going to put the Duna in my car. Like just. I'm gonna go ahead and try to install it. But I'm gonna install the Duna in my car. And then Ralph can put the Nuna in his. Yeah. Because the Duna, I feel like I'll be using the Duna stroller more because it's um, like lighter. And it's more like compact and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to open this. This is Mason's name sign, which is going to go above the crib. So the crib's going to go right here. And yeah, the name will go up there. But y'all, I think the crib is too big. Like, this is the crib right here. And I really think it might be a little too big. Because I think it's going to, it's a crib and a changing table. So it's probably going to go, like, the crib part will probably be, like, from here to here. But then the changing part might be in the window. I don't know. But, yeah. We all see. But I need to get this stuff organized. <sighs> Why am I so out of breath? I got the Mamaru down here. Um, and I'm gonna also show you guys, like I'll probably do another video of like the items that I got that I'm like super duper excited about. Um, this is his mattress. This is a crib and toddler bed mattress. So, put that out there. All right. This is from the Mamaru. So some of this stuff, I just have empty boxes. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. Look at his pants. So Ralph had these pants on the other day in like, I will say human, in like adult sizes. And I got a pair from Mason so they can match. So cute. So cute. Okay. Let me get my life together and figure out what I'm going to organize first because who is being down the block? Okay. Um, because I need to like get some stuff out and just organize, figure out where to put what. So yeah, let me figure out that real quick. Okay, so y'all ignore my hair because it's just a whole hot mess. Right now, let me turn this way. Um, getting my hair done tomorrow since I'll be 38 weeks tomorrow. And yeah, I want to know what's in this box. So I'm going to open up a package. Oh, these are okay. Yay. These are the frames. Where? Oh, those come tomorrow, I think. Okay, so I got these frames. I got six of them. Um, and they're going to go on the wall. But I got six because we're going to put... I got some animals from Target. 
like animal pictures. His theme is like jungle theme. So we got some animal pictures from Target, but I don't think they're here yet. But yeah, so we're gonna hang those up on a wall. But y'all, I, I am, I cannot talk. I'm so excited to open this. Ralph took my scissors out of here. And I do not feel like getting up to go get some scissors. So I'm gonna try to use my nail, even though it's really bad. And I just got my nails done. Ugh. This is not working. I need to head eyes. I might as well go get the scissors because I'm gonna have a bunch of stuff I need to open anyway. I'll be back. All right, I got the kindergarten scissors. I feel like I have to use the bathroom again. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is his name sign I got on Etsy when my mom got it for Mason. Why am I having such a hard time opening this package? We need a fan in this room too. Literally right when I said that the fan came on. Okay. Alright, I got a 36 inch inch sign. It's wooden. It has its name. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, it says Mason. You see that? I love it. So it's like straight wood too. All right, so you see, it says Mason, M-A-S-O-N. I love this. This is perfect, Ooh. this is perfect. So this is gonna go on the wall above his crib. And then I'm glad I got the lighter color of these. I'm gonna have animal pictures for that. So I'm so happy about that. Perfect, okay, we're gonna keep this nice and safe. Right here, and then we have this. I don't know what this wood thing is for. Oh, maybe so it doesn't. That's okay with this. Maybe so it doesn't like bend in the box. I'm just gonna keep that. There. All right, so we have that. So I also went to Target and I got some containers. I'm gonna put his pacifiers in here. Um, I got hooks and tape, wall mounting tape. And this is for like the rolly cart I have. Put his diapers in and some other supplies. So that is that. I had a trash bag. I don't know where I put it. And then, yo, I had to get this dress. I. I can't even fit the dress, but I got it. Cause I think I'm gonna I'm wear it this summer. But it was so cute. This is the dress, I love this. I love stuff like this. So I got this from Target. Cause I was like, I could probably wear it, you know, after him in the summer. And I just got this little dress for work. It's just like a regular long dress. Cause y'all, it's hard to find stuff to wear for work when you're 38 weeks pregnant, okay? So yeah. Ugh. Where does the trash bag go here? All right, so here are his little pacifiers. I got two, I got these. Um, I got these because they are the same shape as like your nipple. So I'm gonna breastfeed, so I figured but these would be good but yeah oh and here's my belly by the way so i'll be 38 weeks when you guys see this video i'll be 38 weeks yes so we are flourishing here he's definitely 
getting bigger. My belly's getting bigger. Um, I feel like I'm experiencing like more like pelvic pressure. Let me get it closer. Like experiencing more like pelvic pressure, um, stuff like that. So my hips hurt, my back hurts now. But yeah, but I'm still working out. I still work out four times, four to five times a week. Um, I pretty much keep my normal routine um, that I've been doing the whole pregnancy. Like I feel fine. There's nothing that's like, oh my gosh, so drastic where I can't like do anything. Still going to work. I'll be um, working up until he's literally due. That's my plan unless like I feel like super horrible like the last week or something. But my maternity leave starts on March 20th. Um, so my last day of work would be the 17th. But his due date is the 19th, which is a Sunday. So we're going to see um, when he decides to come. I'm praying that my water breaks and I dilate and I do not have to get induced. Because um, I really want to have a natural childbirth also. Um, natural and unmedicated. So... Yes, I do not want to epidural, you guys. Um, I know some of y'all are going to say some stuff in the comments, but please, no negativity. A natural childbirth is something that I've been wanting to do, like, literally since forever ago. Um, and actually, getting epidural doesn't really turn me on. It doesn't, like, make me excited for some reason. There's just so many, like, there's pros, but there's a lot of cons, I feel like, with um, an epidural. So... I want to at least try to go the natural route first, okay? So, please just pray for me, okay? If you have a baby and you went natural, unmedicated, please let me know um, your experience. But, y'all, we went to childbirth class last Sunday and we watched a video of somebody with an epidural and somebody who went... Um, unmedicated and honestly they both look like they were in pain so I was just like I'd rather be more in tune with my body than be numb down there and not really feel anything and stuff like that so I'm gonna try to do unmedicated so I've been watching videos um following pages and stuff just to you know learn how to cope with like contractions and all that stuff while you have an unmedicated childbirth so that's my plan i'm gonna let y'all know if i stuck to the plan or not but i'm just praying that you know he comes when he wants to come i don't want to be induced i just you know want it all to flow so yeah um and then my baby shower was very nice i loved it thank you everybody who came it was beautiful. We got so many wonderful gifts. Um, we got to see family, friends, loved ones, all that. So I'm so happy that, you know, the baby shower went so nicely. Um, and I know some of you guys wanted to, y'all are asking about the registry. Some people were messaging me. So I still have stuff on the registry that I need if you guys would like to contribute. Um, I'll leave the link below to my registry and the address I have on my registry is not my real address it's my PO box okay because somebody was like why did you put your address on there I was like it's not my address it's my PO box so FYI that's my PO box okay so yeah so I'm gonna continue to organize his room um, and I'll probably come back with another video showing you his room or an update or something but I really just need this time to like vibe out listen to music blah blah and get this stuff together because he could literally come at any minute at this point so I will see you guys later bye